The way that different animals have colonized the skies is surely one of the most remarkable stories in the natural world. One branch of the dinosaurs acquired feathers, and that enabled their owners to get airborne. The birds had arrived. These are ten-day-old pheasant chicks. Their feathers are not yet fully developed. They're also too short to enable these creatures to fly. Nevertheless, they're very helpful. Pheasant chicks hatch in nests on the ground. But they soon need to roost high up, where they'll be safe from predators. Flapping these simple wings gives the chicks a little extra lift to help them climb into a tree. And when the time comes to return to the ground, those first feathers again are a help. They don't provide a large air-catching surface, but they're enough to slow a chick's fall. And make that landing just a little softer. You may think that birds are much the same when it comes to flight, but in fact, different species need to fly in their own particular way. Nectar. Birds, when they first evolved, were unable to collect it because there was seldom something solid nearby on which they could perch. Then, around 30 million years ago, a kind of bird appeared that had no need of such a perch. Hummingbirds. They could hover. They do so by beating their wings extremely swiftly. So fast, in fact, that they make a humming noise. The largest hummingbird beats its wings around 14 times a second. But some tiny species are able to do so 80 times a second. Hovering burns a huge amount of fuel. All hummingbirds have to constantly top up their tanks with high-energy nectar. And when supplies are low, competition can be fierce. Now, their flying skills are put to a very different use. To fight off rivals. So, different birds adapted their wings to fly in highly specialized ways. But because most birds rely for so much of their success on their exceptional eyesight, there is one major habitat that is largely closed to them. Not a place, but a time. The night. There is a bird that can fly in the dark. A barn owl. And one of its favorite meals. 
is a field mouse. A mouse is extremely alert to the approach of a predator. But the barn owl has wings specially adapted for stealth and senses that can penetrate darkness. Most birds' wings have a hard edge, and this can cause quite a loud noise. But the barn owl's tatty feathers avoid that. By creating a softer edge, they cushion the turbulent air and so reduce noise. So, silent flight allows the owl to hear its prey and conceals its approach. But to position itself for the kill, it needs to fly extremely slowly. And to achieve that, it has particularly broad wings. This slow, silent approach leaves a field mouse little chance of escape. Birds today are the masters of the skies, but they were not the first creatures to fly. The dynasty of flight lasted over 320 million years. We have only been around for about two. Only now are we beginning to appreciate the full the wonders and splendors of the evolution of flight.